What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we're back with another A to Z of ARC for today guys and uh, today we're taking a look at none other than the Anglerfish. Now guys, the Anglerfish, obviously it's got fish in its name, is an underwater mount that you can tame across many of the ARCs. You can't tame it on Genesis, only reason I'm over here on Genesis is because the water is actually seeable. Um, and it's just so much nicer to see here. Now, anglerfishes are hostile. They will aggro towards you as well. You can see this one's kind of swimming away from us. I do believe it's because we are on uh, Genesis. However, while swimming in the ocean with these guys, they will aggro on you. They will eventually start swimming away from you and they will turn around again and re-aggro on you as well. So do be careful when trying to knock these guys out, but they are a very simple knockout team. You will need to use a crossbow with trank arrows. Be sure to space your shots by five seconds in between. Otherwise, you do have the potential to kill this guy. So be very careful when it comes to uh, to knocking this guy out. Because like I said, you can potentially kill it. And it can potentially kill you as well. As it will eventually turn around and start attacking you. Now, you can see there we've knocked this little guy out. And uh, to tame it up, you can use raw mutton or you can use regular kibble. Now, regular kibble is obviously superior. And regular kibble isn't that difficult to make. But uh, once you tame it up, you're pretty much good to go. Now, the main role of uh, anglerfishes is that you will want them to... Uh, let's just let's just do this real quick. We're uh, under attack from a bunch of electrolophilophysis. Here we go. Uh, are you going to electrocute my anglerfish? Let's get out of here, buddy. Let's go. Now, the main role of anglerfishes is to go and hunt silica pearls. These guys are the only creature that can harvest silica pearls in the game using their bite attack. Which, you know, these guys are just absolute kings when it comes to gathering silica pearls. They gather so many. Uh, we've just got to find the first batch on uh, the Genesis map. But as well as that, these guys are really good for farming angler gel as well. Because of the light that these guys give off, you're able to attract other angler fishes and then kill them for their angler gel, which is really good. As well as that, they can also light up the depths of the ocean with their little uh, with their little light thing, as well as that, they can also light up any caves. So if you're in a dark area where uh, is that? That's not an anglerfish down there. No, that's a coelacanth. If you're in a dark area where uh, you've built, like say the underwater cave on Rag, if you've built up in that cave, in it is pretty dark in that cave, you know. You can actually use these guys to light up the cave. They have a range of about 40 foundations, which is absolutely nuts when it comes to our uh, light range. So you won't actually need to build like, um, you won't need to build lamp posts or anything like that in order to light up your base. You can just use these guys. And like I said, they do attract the other angler fishes in the area to themselves. So you can actually kill the anglers that come up to you and uh, harvest them up for angler gel. I am not having any luck finding any of these silica pearl uh, nodules. Now guys, you can see here, this is one of the silica pearl nodules on uh, Genesis. We're going to harvest that up and you see there, 58 silica pearls straight off the bat from that. Now, obviously you can get a lot more from uh, doing it on the depths of the ocean floor, especially in like rag and stuff like that in that little, uh, that little grotto area near the volcano area. That place is full of silica pearls. But if you find like a nodule and there's like a whole heap of them, you can definitely harvest up a whole lot. I'm just not having much luck right now. Finding many of them over on uh, on Genesis. Here we go, guys. I found a couple more of them. So yeah, these guys are the king of gathering silica pearls. Now you can also use these guys as a as a basic underwater mount. These guys have really good swim speed. They've got pretty decent stamina. The only thing that's lacking is their uh, is their health. But you can use these guys to navigate the deep trenches of the ocean because these guys can outrun most things that they come across. You know, Moses, plesiosaurs. With a little bit of levels into movement speed, you can easily outrun them, and their stamina is pretty decent. And yeah, they're just really good for navigating the terrain and the depths, especially if you're looking for uh, deep sea artifacts, because these guys will light up the area. Obviously, we're on Genesis, so I can't really show it to you too much, but uh, I wanted to show it over here, because trying to do this on the island and not being able to see anything is absolutely atrocious so yeah but you definitely want to tame up an angler fish if you want to go about gathering silica pearls and that is mainly their number one use just absolutely farming the crap out of silica pearls oh they do spawn on genesis i was not aware of that okay there you go so you can see here there's a bunch of them and that the uh, other ones are hostile towards us so you can use these guys to to harvest up the angler fish that your uh, fellow brethren will drop when you kill them 
And uh, it's definitely worth it because Angler Gel is really useful. You can use it in refining forges. You can use it to light your torches. You name it. You can use it for a, a lot of things. It's really worth it. And uh, you can see all the angler fishes from over there are aggroing on us. So you definitely want to make sure you get a strong one. Otherwise, you're going to be in a bit of a pickle when you uh, when you get to this stage and uh, you're surrounded by a bunch of angler fishes. Like I said, though, you can outrun them. Boom, bada, boom, just like that. We're outrunning them. But uh, yeah, the main use you'll be using these guys for is the Silico Pearl Farm. And I'd heavily recommend it. So guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. Let me know what you thought of it down below in the comments. Let me know whether or not you enjoyed it. But other than that, guys, I will catch you in the next one.